Hi everyone, this is Andy, your course facilitator. We are on step four, which is called Weird Words Are Your Friend. And what this uh, step is about is blogging, in particular educational blogging. What is blogging, you may ask? Um, if you're not familiar with the term, it's basically a website where people can post ideas or concepts and then others can kind of comment off of that. That's the traditional look of a blog. A lot of times now, uh, really, it's just about the post and other people can read your posts. But the dynamic nature is really that other people can um, actually respond to what you're talking about. So that's the idea in this step. So to get maybe some inspiration about what blogs can be or should be or already are, if you click on this link, this is going to take you to a hyperdoc, which is just basically a list of uh, different blogs. And I've categorized each one of these by um, some different um, titles. So one being uh, the first ones are ed tech blogs. And so there's a variety of resources there. These are just kind of my top eight. Um, one for sure to check out if you're a Google school is Alt Control Achieve, probably one of the best. Uh, a local teacher has your smarticles. That's Mary Howard. Um, and then again, there's a variety of different ones. Ditch That Textbook is a really popular one with teachers and uh, kind of tech savvy folks, uh, just to kind of rattle off a few. Uh, the next category is food for thought educational blogs. And there's a variety of good ones within here, but I would definitely recommend if there's one or two you're going to check out, um, Edutopia would be one. Uh, that's got some really timely uh, resources, but if you haven't seen Cult of Pedagogy from Jennifer Gonzalez, uh, it's a great website with tons of ideas, thought-provoking concepts, as well as uh, podcasts, and it's really well-organized, timely, and Jennifer Gonzalez is an excellent writer and, uh, again, very thought-provoking and well-organized. So if there's one blog you'll check out, if any, if there's any blog you'll check out, uh, feel free to look at this one. I think you won't be disappointed and you'll probably find yourself spending a lot of time with it. And then the last uh, collection of blogs are kind of teacher or admin blogs. So for admins, if you haven't seen Kimberly Moritz's blog uh, from Springville Griffith, she has, she's been blogging for years. And I think you'll kind of get the flavor of her leadership style as well as her thoughts and educational philosophy. It's a very well done uh, blog. But again, there's a variety of other ones that are teacher administrator uh, showcases. So feel Feel free to uh, check those out and get some ideas from that. So once you've got maybe some ideas, the other resources uh, within here, most of the other resources, first of all, why teachers should write. This is a little article about blogging. Uh, Blogger.com is Google's platform for creating a blog. Again, you can do that for free. WordPress is another one. Uh, Weebly is probably one of the easiest uh, website creation tools, so feel free to check that one out. And those are, I think you get free um, blogs for education. Um, and then uh, Wix is another one. Uh, this one's probably the most dynamic, but a little bit more of a learning curve. And then the final uh, kind of resources here I just added to this PS22 course, I don't think is a, any longer an active blog. But it's a great uh, way to show how a blog can change the world. Uh, this music teacher started posting the videos of his rehearsals. And uh, pretty soon, um, movie stars and singing um, stars started uh, coming to the practices and singing with the, with the students to their rehearsals. So really amazing. Um, this is my blog, Coffee of the Geek. Again, I, don't, uh, I can't say it's uh, earth-shattering, but it's just um, it's a nice platform for me to kind of chat with other teachers. And I also just added this one. Um, this is one that I created really just for my children. And again, just as an example of what you can do with a blog, it can be as simple as uh, chatting with your, your students or your family about, like, say, your favorite movies or your favorite books. So I just threw that in there as, a, as an example, certainly not to uh, pat myself on the back, but um, just hopefully give you some kind of ideas on how um, blogs can be used for both personal and uh, professional use.